Hi there, I'm Stephen Leptak, Adweek's European Bureau Chief. And as you can see, uh, we are here this week at the Cannes Lion Festival of Creativity, where we are rewarding, celebrating the biggest creative work in the world for the last year. But just a couple of hours away, there's a war going on in Europe as Russia continues to invade Ukraine. In the early days of that, we recognised that the creative community needed support, but also understanding. The world needed to, to figure out what, what is going on there. So Adweek dedicated a special issue to concentrating on that community. And to do so, we brought in three editors from Ukraine who were able to explore in detail what the culture and the experience of those creatives were like. And here's my conversation with Hannah, Dasha and Sophia. So we're here in Cannes. I'm curious what your experience has been this week so far. It's amazing actually, it's my first time I'm here. I'm seeing these wonderful people around and we had wonderful conversations. I think that it's a huge experience for me, both uh, professionally and personally as well. It's my first time uh, here at the festival and I was telling that I never imagined it to happen for, for me in 2022, but here I am here and it was very intense in terms of communication and in, in terms of lectures. It was uh, very nice to see a lot of Ukrainian creatives here because this year Cannes Festival was uh, free to attend for all Ukrainians and I think we will have uh, uh, an impact on our industry because of this. It's really important now for Ukrainians to be here because when you uh, look on this creative sphere from that side you are like uh, I understand everything but you are not involved in it. Here at Cannes you uh, feel like you are part of the international community and uh, it's important for us. What has been in your view the creative response to what's been happening in Ukraine because we've seen a lot of campaigns produced. What has caught your eye or caught your attention that you think has actually been helpful? A lot of initiatives are uh, very interesting and empowering and um, I think they are worth attention. Some campaigns uh, that were about Ukraine actually did it involve Ukrainians and I think it is a very important thing that uh, just any project about some group should involve representatives of these people. Do you think there's enough representation of Ukraine within the actual event itself? Sometimes uh, creatives find a problem which is uh, like uh, which is actual for years and uh, now our problems change like in a day. Now when we see this problem on a Can Lions uh, Festival. It's like we skip it and uh, forget about it. And uh, now we're like uh, trying to remember something that is absolutely not actual. Can you talk a bit about how important you think the Brave Ukraine campaign has been? I think it was uh, very important for Ukrainians and it was actually one of the ideas we had during preparing the Edwick issue. We were talking about how Ukrainian nation and Ukrainian creatives reinforced all the uh, best qualities we had before the war. One of the uh, traits like we uh, felt like we are expressing a lot is bravery. It's actually that uh, unites all Ukrainians from all professions right now. It was launched in uh, April when uh, like the media coverage about Ukraine started to drop down a bit uh, uh, because Ukraine, Ukraine is not making that much headlines anymore. For example, social media directions, they drop sufficiently. So it's very important that this campaign started to pay attention to Ukraine, but kind of in a positive way, like for people to feel the emotion, not of a misery or something like a pity, but very positive and reinforcing like emotion about Ukrainians. I think it was very, very important. What is the response been like to the, to the special ad week issue? I got uh, like tons of messages after the release. People got uh, writing and saying thank you for doing this, thank you for highlighting our nation, our creativity and it was amazing actually. For all Ukrainian creatives it was like uh, a small victory when you have a release of your case uh, on ad week and it's like happened like 
twice in a year and you're like wow you need a week <laughs> and now we had like an issue and it's all about ukrainians it was our first step to international community but because uh, here at can lines it, uh, we had like uh, uh, several meetings like with meta and uh, i understand that uh, they uh, uh, found us through a week it's a chance and we now we just have to uh, use these chances to find a way for Ukrainian creative community to become international. I think for us it was also about being seen because uh, it's very important for Ukrainians to keep uh, the platforms to tell truth about the war but also tell truth about who we are, what are we like as creatives, as professionals. Edwig was a very good example for other media because also besides uh, highlighting Ukraine uh, you donated money from uh, ad campaigns and it was very impactful for us as well because it's a very important uh, part of the uh, help you can provide to Ukraine. What more should the industry be thinking about? How can they help either Ukraine now or rebuild in the future? I think the next step should be more about uh, integration, seeing each other and greeting each other and supporting in general, but doing things together, you know, uh, practical steps. Try to find a Ukrainian and try to talk to him or her. And we are very easy to reach and we are so excited to talk about, not about our problems, but also about our aspirations and uh, our potential. Our uh, job also to um, build the platforms uh, uh, to uh, give international community a ways to collaborate with us. And now we actually have a presidential program, United 24, and it's an important program for the nations. Ukrainians can be a really good consultant. So uh, you can ask somebody who can consult you from, from Ukraine and every time when you have to know something about Ukraine context, you can just uh, uh, email us and uh, we will give our time to communicate because it's important for us also. For the first month, uh, especially first weeks, uh, a lot of Ukrainian professionals were doing uh, work voluntarily, like we didn't have any money paid and now we want to support our economy. It's just like we have even this expression like economic front. If you have any chance to support Ukrainians, uh, Ukrainian businesses, Ukrainian brands, Ukrainian agencies, just do that. There are so many ways you can collaborate, you can give briefs, you can a mentor for example it's important to have expertise from outside as well for example if you want to start education program do that uh, teach ukrainians maybe we will learn something from uh, other creatives as well everyone has a way uh, to fight uh, for creatives is a creative way so just use it uh, as uh, any way you can